Happy New Year and welcome to 2021, although it really does feel like we're still in 2020, right? Anyway, but we did have a race this weekend over in New Zealand. It was the Tauranga Half, um, or the Mount Multisport Festival, which saw a rerun of the battle between Teresa Adams and Hannah Wells and Beck Clark. In December, it was Wells who took the win over Adams, but this time it was Adams who took the tape in a new course record. Wells finished second with Clark in third. It should be noticed that Adams nearly broke two hours for the bike course, and her bike split was only four minutes slower than the fastest men's splits. Wells, as well, had a ridiculously fast bike split, putting her up there with the men as well, these two sure can bike. But it all sets the scene for the next race, which is Challenge Wanaka in February, where the two will go head to head again before they then head up to Topol for Ironman New Zealand in March. In other races, we saw the Hoka Project Carbon X2, um, a 100k world record attempt by Hoka athletes from around the world on a nine lap course in Arizona. For the women, it was Audrey Tungai who took the win in seven hours, 40 minutes and 36 seconds. The women's world record is a ridiculous six hours, 33 minutes, which is six, no, not six, 356 minutes per K pace or a six minute 20 mile pace. That is fast. In the men, it was Jim Wormsley who ran six hours nine minutes and 25 seconds just missing the record by 11 seconds anyway back to the women it was also the santos festival of cycling down in adelaide australia a four-stage australian national road series invitational race sarah giganti took the gc ahead of lucy kennedy but we need to give a special shout out to two women from the specialized women racing team laura luxford yes sister of annabelle luxford who finished fifth in the gc and Matilda Reynolds, Reynolds, our wits up favourite, who finished ninth. Hopefully we get to see some more races again soon. I'm out of practice with this, so need to do more. Yahoo!